Yes, right now I have Roland on the radio. Roland testing all things. Which is the world. <laughs> yeah. Where are you calling yeah. from? I'm calling from Ghana, Accra. Okay. And uh, how long you live there? Oh, I've, I've, I've been in Accra for five years. I was born in sub city in, in the region of Ghana. Ghana have 10 regions. Let's say 10 provinces, I may say. But I was born in one of the provinces, the south of Ghana. The, the capital of south of Ghana, who is who? So I was born there. Yeah, I live and school there from infancy to eight years. I moved to a village nearby the city. Stay with my grandmom. So I'm, 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 been, till I'm 20, and I've moved there to a college. But I've been going and coming. But I'm based in Accra. My, my city life experience. I live in a city before I go back to college. And after college, too, I, be, I begin to move from one city to another. Uh, so I'm back in Accra, let's say, for five years now. I'm staying in Accra five years now, basically. Okay. And um, what is Accra like? Accra is a city of Ghana, city, the capital city of Ghana. So any part of the world, if you are coming to Ghana, you, you, the plane will land you in Accra before you go to where you want to go to. Jamaica has influenced you a great deal. Tell me about that. Yeah, I'm a Rasta, and Jamaica has impact in me because uh, I listened to, I was, I, was, I was a child, my dad used to play UB40, uh, uh, Coco tea uh, and uh, sometimes Benny Wheeler does it. So I, I, I try to sing small, small. And up to, up to a time in my life, I refuse to go to church. I'm, I'm, I'm from a Christian home. My mom is a, is, is a Christian, so now it's a, it's a pure Christian. But I, I don't know her faith, though, because. She, she used to preach me on Godly way, but I don't know her faith eternity mom. At the age of at the age of eight to nine years, I refused to go to church because the puppet message doesn't suit me anymore. I, I think it's, it's misleading me because there's no change in my lifestyle. So I was, I refused to go to church. And they forced me, even though it is a tough journey for me. My mom even uh, almost disowned me as a child, and I told my mom, "If if that will be the case, then leave me. I want to I want to live the life I want to live, but I won't be bad. I won't I won't, I won't, I won't be bad. I won't, I won't turn anything bad in the world. I'll live good and to show what what I want to be to you." So even in my schooling, one day she refused to pay my school fee. I said, "Even though if you want me to be school dropout, I don't want to go to church." I want to be school up. I want to stand on my, my point. I will, I will not go to church. So I said, Mom, I'm not ready to go to church. So through the, they moved me where I was to my, my grandmom. They tried to change my lifestyle small. But, and I grew up there, finished my basic school, and go to secondary, uh, senior highs. And uh, in college, in third year, in third year and I think things been different in my life. I face so challenges, so difficulty. I, I, I just feel like I, I want to take a Rasta way in my life. So through the Rasta way, I try to uh, read online, to learn about his last uh, how I go by the liberty, the food I need to take, and uh, the way I'll, I'll, I'll get dressed, and I'll, I need to learn those things. And yeah, I'll call my youth back again. Yes, Bridget. Yes, you're back. Uh, 
it, it, it's been a tough journey for me. Both family and friends are getting good in my life. Personally and spiritually to me, I'm okay with my life now. Uh, with no apology to no one. I listen to Bob Marley. Bob Marley teach me teachings uh, very well from the root until uh, I, 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 I begin to get a consciousness. Even I learned I learn my path through Bob Marley's music yeah. before I moved to culture because I'm, I'm listening to culture's music before I moved to culture. And reggae music changed my life perfectly, 100%. I'm cool with reggae music. And I love culture very well. But I love Bob Marley too. But yeah, I, I know one day Buddy Banton will be out of prison by next year. By this time, he'll be ready to out from prison. And I can't wait to celebrate him, Buddy Banton. Talk like a champion, walk like a champion, run, pa, 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 pa. <laughs> I love Buju, right? I love Buju. I love Buju. Big up Buju. Every living thing, every living thing, living thing on, on this earth has male and female. So that's why life goes. So in the winning season, the green leaves grow. In the dry season, the green leaves die. That, that is the way of life. Uh, you can say nature. Nature is to me. So uh, in African history, follow nature to survive. African history, but we have uh, our culture, where I'm from, uh, we, we, we are ruled by the king and queens, and we have the kind of culture we, that we portray, both our clans and our family and our neighbor, uh, neighborhood, the love that we have, because our buildings in, in Africa as well have that settings you have you have to live. We, we, we we don't split from each other because there's one nation in africa yeah yeah i want i, I want to i want to say big up to jamaica now because they have much influence on my lifestyle a big up to the artists out there chronics jamil sisla papa shango capotin uh Bini man ninja man uh, big up to you all. I give, th- I give thanks to you for the chance that you give. Blessings and to you.
Yes, yes, one and all. This has been a broadcast from JamaicaRadio.com. I want you to go to YouTube and remember to subscribe. When you subscribe, hit the bell right beside the subscribe button. And um, email us music, all artists all over the world. Email me music at jatalkradio at gmail.com. And go to the Facebook page at Jamaica Radio. Like us, subscribe. And when you see the shows, I want you to share it on Facebook. Let's begin. I'm here to expose music. I'm here to talk to people. This is not about politics and politics. This is about people. 